Well, tonight we are tracking multiple missing persons cases in Maryland, starting with a desperate search for a beloved second grade teacher. Police are still searching for Miriam Sela after she was reported missing nearly two weeks ago. She was last seen walking in her neighborhood, heading towards a favorite park. Well, News Nation's Emily Finn has the very latest on the search. Emily. Well, Natasha, authorities are saying they feel confident somebody knows where Sela could be. Police are not ruling out foul play after a thorough search of the park where she's believed to have gone missing led to zero clues about her disappearance. At a press conference this week, police say they have investigated Sela's phone records, social media accounts, and financial transactions as well, but still haven't been able to locate her. I believe that somewhere out there, somebody who has seen her, as knows where she is and can provide important information as to her whereabouts. We still need help from locating her. I, I feel confident that out there somewhere is a person who has some seen her. And we are tracking another missing persons case out of Maryland tonight. A 15 year old girl has been missing for over four weeks, with her parents saying that they believe she was lured by someone online. On the night the teen, Sophia Roach, disappeared, she reportedly kissed her mom goodnight before going to her bedroom, but when her mom went to check on her later in the night, she was gone, leaving her phone, money, and makeup bag at home, something that her parents say is very unusual behavior for their daughter. Roach was last seen at a Whole Foods near her home the night when she went missing, and the FBI are now assisting in the search to find her. Emily, meanwhile, I, I know there's another child, a six-year-old girl who was reported missing from Washington State two years ago. Police now uncovering some disturbing clues about what could have happened to that child. What are you tracking there? Well, Natasha, the details coming out of this case are truly, truly sickening. One of the six-year-old Oakley Carlson siblings told police that their parents allegedly locked the child in a cell under the stairs, leaving her there to starve. Another sibling claims her mother said Oakley was eaten by wolves and told the child not to talk about her sister anymore. And in a third conflicting story, a different sibling reportedly told investigators Oakley was the only one in the family who didn't survive a house fire and police still don't know what actually happened to her. The children say they were physically abused and police say Oakley's parents are drug abusers and have been uncooperative with the investigation. As I said, Natasha, truly sickening. We do know there is currently an $85,000 reward raised by the local community for anyone with information that could help investigators track down what could have happened to Little Oakley. Okay, I appreciate the update. Emily Finn, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.